where's my guardrail? It's Steve the Guardrail Guy, and there is a house in Cleveland, Ohio. It's been hit multiple times. One time, a car went right through the guy's kitchen. And when this happened, he took the cabinet doors from his now destroyed kitchen and put them out at the road and said, where's my guardrail? Apparently, there had previously been a guardrail at this location. And the reason I looked at this is because it popped in my Google alert. Every news media outlet in the city of Cleveland has covered this guy's house and the number of times it's been hit over and over and over. So it just got hit again. Actually, it got hit. Big boulders that are in front of the house got hit. It didn't actually hit the house. But the underlying problem is this location is inherently defective. You have a street coming into another street in a 90 degree. Uh, the, his house is right here at the 90 degree T. He's going to continue to be hit over and over. The location is inherently defective. So why don't we put up a, a guardrail? Well, you're going to get a 12 and a half foot guardrail. Th there is no redirective capacity in a 12 and a half foot guardrail. There's no anchors. There's no end terminals. You just have a hazard that's going to potentially kill someone. Um, the other issue is, is that you still have the inherent defect. Guardrail cannot stop a vehicle at 90 degrees. It just simply cannot do that. It's not a catch fence. So you still have the same problem. And the city wants to buy the property and I assume tear it down. But all then what you're doing is creating a runaway ramp, but you have stuff behind it. So you're going to still have the inherent defect of this location. Rather than buy this guy's house, who he, he, he apparently he's, he's lived here his whole life. Don't steal his house. Yeah, I'm got my libertarian shirt on don't use eminent domain instead you have the real estate and this is a great location beautiful location beautiful boulevard nice landscaping uh, but this intersection is totally jacked up you have a crosswalk going through the middle of your intersection that's really weird so i would suggest and it would just build on the character of this neighborhood is to build a roundabout. Do some nice landscaping in the middle. You're going to improve pedestrian safety. You're almost certainly going to stop the impacts into this guy's house. And you're going to get rid of this red light and improve the traffic flow of the neighborhood and reduce the number of crashes at that location. So to the guy there w w that wants your guard, no, 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 no. Take those signs down, but we want a roundabout. That will solve your problems.